Welcome to the Johnston Community College Library webpage. The purpose of this video is to highlight the library's Find It All or Summon search feature. We're going to begin on the JCC homepage. From there, we'll look near the top for the word library and click on the word library to go to the library's page. Beneath the five navigational headings, you will notice there are two search boxes. The first of these is called Find It All, and that's what we'll be looking at today. The other of these search boxes is called Search the Catalog, and that's the subject of another video. As you might guess, the Find It All search option searches everything that the library has access to, which includes what's found in its other search option in the catalog. So the search would include results for books, articles, RSS feeds, any type of content or holdings that the library has. And there are two ways to go about searching using the Find It All or Summon feature. First, I could click in the box and type in my search term and click search as usual, in which case I'm going to get a large number of results as you can see at the top of the screen because I've not put in, in, in any filters or limiters. All of these are along the side in this search option. And so I can scroll down the list and click the options that are applicable to my search to limit the number of results that I have. So in this case, you can see how much uh, I have reduced the number of results by choosing for the full text option and the uh, scholarly peer reviewed option. So that's one way that I could go about using this search feature. But a more efficient way might be to click on the magnifying search icon and then choose the advanced search option. So in this case, I'm going to get all the filters that displayed along the left side of the screen at first so that I can put those in place before I start looking at the results. So at the top, I have options for putting in search terms and I have different ways I could classify those, such as this I want to be a search term, or I'm looking for an author, or so forth. Or I can leave it at the default to search all the fields. I may also be interested in a certain date, date range depending on the subject and discipline of my search. So some things such as uh, computer technology type things or medical type things would likely need to be more current than something like a literary critique. So in this case, I'm just going to choose the option for five years uh, so that all my results are going to be less than five years old. Also, I'm probably coming to this search feature because I'm looking for journal articles, but in the box beneath content type, you can see all the different types of content that is available to you. But if I know I'm looking for journal articles in particular, I can choose that option only and limit the number of results I get by excluding all the other formats that I'm not interested in. And then finally, I may be interested in the limiter for it to be full text online, which means that in some form I'm going to be able to access the whole article from the results list rather than just getting a citation and having to track it down in the library. I probably, for many of the assignments, would want to choose the peer-reviewed option. But what this means is that the work has been uh, subjected to scholars and experts in a field of study, and they've given the green light that this is a solid piece of work. So I can apply as many or as few filters as I want and then choose the search icon and get a list of results. So in the example I've used here, I'll notice that I still have a large number of results which would tell me I would need to refine my search. And so we'll, can, we can do that by going back up top and adding on other uh, keywords that may help limit. So maybe I'm thinking about study skills and standardized testing. Okay, so I come down a whole lot of results. Uh, maybe I need to add on some more. 
the idea here is that I am still able from this point to keep all the filters in place and to go back to the top and adjust uh, my search terms and keywords so forth until I get down to a reasonable number of results. So once I've gotten down to where I'm comfortable with the number of results, I can scroll through the results to see which ones are most appealing. So in this case, I'm going to choose option four. Now, because Summon or the Find It All option is searching all of our databases at one time, what you see at this point, how it displays, may differ. In some cases, you may get uh, an article that opens directly as you would on an internet page or you may get a, a description of the article where you need to scroll to the bottom and choose a link or you may as in this case uh, see that there's an icon off to the right where you can download the whole PDF. But anyway the article will be there also, with each of the articles that you open in this manner, you should get one of uh, a collection of tools. Although, again, depending on which database you're pulling from, the way the display looks could differ. You should get an option for the citation. So clicking on that option, uh, I could choose the style of citation I'm using for my class, and you're probably using APA or MLA at this point. Uh, and I'm going to get a template for how the citation for this article should look. So I say template because it is wise to check back to ensure everything is correct. Second option, I, if I wanted to read this on paper and we're connected to a printer, I could click the print icon to print. I also have the option to send this to myself by email and by entering the email address and my name and so forth. With this option, I would like to point out that your email is going to come from something called uh, EPHOST because that's our proxy server. So you may get something that looks a little funny if you send yourself an article. It will not show up in your inbox as sort of from me, as some people expect it to do. And then the last option you have are options to save. So you could use your Google Drive or your OneDrive and in most cases you have the option to download a copy to your uh, desktop. With that, that's a highlight of how the Sum and Search feature or the Find It All feature works. If you have difficulty in utilizing this search and getting your results, the kind of results that you're looking for, please feel free to reach out to us in the library. We're available at the number 919-464-2251. Uh, you could call to explain what you're searching for and we could help talk you through the keywords or other filters that might be relevant. Another option you have is to reach out by chat by clicking on the chat icon at the top of the screen, in which case you could chat with a librarian within the state. Thank you.